So as you could see, it's a JSON uh, file We're using uh, in which it stores. Now it's searching all those images, and these are the images from the uh, registry itself. Okay, so you could see that every individual has, you know, created its own Docker uh, Ubuntu image. If you are not convinced with the official images, you can just pull down the images from those users itself. Right. So yeah, uh, one more thing that. There are some images, some repositories which are maintained by the Docker contributors, the Docker maintainers. So those images you are uh, you are not you know you cannot edit those. Okay, but what you can do, you can just it's all open source. You can just you know copy paste it. You can modify it accordingly whatever you want. Okay, so like this. So these are the like official uh, images that we have been pulling. Uh, like just saying uh, the introductory part that is the Docker Hello hyphen world. So there is an image, uh, you know, based here. See, it's Hello hyphen world that it's written. Okay. So what we are doing, we are just pulling these images. So the count, you know, rises itself when you pull, and these many you know, pull, uh, pulls have been made on these images. So you can just browse through it. You can, uh, you know, look for whatever image you have. The benefit that you have in these images is that you can just you know uh, pull these images and be sure that it will be successful because it has been tested by so many you know maintainers and uh, the whole community basically the core com uh, community. So what is the stars? Stars is like just a parameter like GitHub stars. It's nothing. Like GitHub stars. You know? Like just uh, I want to go through the module. So I can just get started. So it's just basically a yeah. so, okay. So I hope uh, the Docker search part is clear. Yeah. Search all images and pull it. So one thing that is uh, you know, very important in these things is that for a company, let's just assume that uh, I'm in a company and I want that okay. I have a proxy basically, and I don't want that the containers should contact the outside world to fetch those repositories. You know, it's a uh, typical problem, basically it's an issue, right? So in that case, what should I do? How do I configure Docker so that it automatically, you know, fetches all those pulls and automatically does them, right? So what Docker has done to that solution, Docker has open source its registry part, this whole registry part, onto the GitHub app. So that you can, you know, just set up in your server, at your own local uh, you know, uh, office, you can set up your own registry. You can uh, fetch uh, Docker images from that part, and you can control it. So that's the you know benefit of our open sourcing. So another. Uh, Similar type of registry is Quay.io. So I use it uh, very uh, frequently. The reason is because I find it uh, really nice. All those things, like recently, if you have uh, the Docker vulnerability part, uh, that it scans those the images and finds the security issues that you are having. That has been recently, you know, discovered by the Docker. But uh, I believe that I have been using it that part for you know past six months on the square dot i so what i am trying to make uh, a suggestion is that you should try square dot i okay so because it is it works in a similar way to your uh, docker registry it it does the same things exactly how we imagine plus it gives you the benefit of uh, you know launching rocket containers if you are into that sort of stuff that is except the docker part. so it's a similar fashion uh, not in the so if you can do Docker login quay.io. You can uh, register yourself, and you can you know pull your images from quay.io/slash/ores/slash/quay.io. Because like just saying, uh, 
I myself, you know, search a lot for the best ET, uh, for the best service discovery images that I could find. And on Docker registry, I could not find anything that you know suits my needs. So basically, I go to quay.io. Uh, I make the pull of whatever services I like, and I just you know, uh, launch it. Just like uh, this is an example. I've used my quay docs. This is just a uh, image that they have built. So I have launched it on my local host and I can uh, view it on my browser just for the purpose of uh, demonstration. Okay. Uh, so now let's talk about another very nice service of Docker that is the Docker Compose. Okay, Docker Compose was previously known as Rick. It was bought by Docker in uh, 2014. What it does was uh, it used to, it is a simple YML file. Okay, what it does you, you specify what uh, your containers should be like, what type of images you want, what type of ports you want, and it builds up your containers from that simple one by MFL. Okay, so the reason is like, okay, I want 100 containers on my, uh, you know, system, just saying. So how do I uh, bring up 100 containers? That's a tough task for, you know, doing it manually, Docker, pull, Docker, it's headache, right? So I go to this Docker Compose, I write a YML file and I uh, you know, just do docker compose up and it brings up my containers. Also, this is a very nice thing if you want to scale your containers. Uh, I have one container, right? Running one image. I want like five containers, right? So I can use the scale command in this and I can just scale up the five containers of, of that same, same image. Okay, so I'm just, uh, So uh, one thing to remember is that the file name should be this. It cannot be changed. Okay. This is a very uh, simple thing. What I have done, I have used the image hello iPhone world and I have named my image my iPhone. So let's boot it up. Uh, this it has created my uh, Docker container. Okay, from that YML image, and I can see the output. Let's see. Is that alright? So I can even check it. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So using this same file, I can go. Uh, build up a workflow So this is a very simple example. Let me show you a better brief example. So, this is a better example than my previous one. So what I have done is I want a WordPress container and I want MySQL. Okay, both connected to each. <coughs> I have used uh, this version too. There is a reason for that. Basically, Docker Compose uh, still suffers some of the you know pitfalls. So they have launched this version too, using which you can compose up your containers and uh, basically pull up the con uh, pull up the containers. So basically, I have specified the database. I have specified my image. I have specified volumes. I have specified whether I want it restart or not. You know, this could be done using that hyphen D. Uh, command even but I have specified it. I specified the environment, okay, these are the environment variables and these are the stuff that I require to enter it. And then I have, you know, uh, use the WordPress, okay, this is the image, these are the ports and I have, and I have specified these, all these things. So, is it uh, alright? So, let's just uh, end up this container. Now it will take time because uh, my SQL image is a bit, you know, lengthy. So yeah, here you can see it's pulling the images itself, it's downloading stuff. So just saying this similar thing happens with the Docker build part. So if it breaks down somewhere here, no problem, it will continue from here.
So every time you pull up from GitHub repository or your local repository? Uh, no, we are using the GitHub repository, uh, registry repository. Because uh, like my SQL image is there, right? So I can uh, create an image, uh, create a folder, okay? And I can write a programming you know, file on it, dot py or anything. And I can specify some things. But I cannot create image just to...